it's Kayla. Hello, welcome to a random corner of my house at the moment. I'm going to do a mini unboxing. We, by we, I mean Tony, Zoe, and I, and I'll link them down below. They're my bullet journal friends, and we decided to do a secret Santa swap thing, and we all send each other like bullet journal supplies, and then the other person like tries to come up with a theme based on the bullet journal supplies that they're given. Um, I got Zoe. So, editing Kaylee here, I cannot find the footage of me gathering all of Zoe's supplies. So if you're interested to see what I got her, then check out the link down below. You can go over there and see what she does with her stuff. Um, but I'm gonna open what Anthony sent me. Wow, the first thing I pulled out was open me, and it's like in really cute calligraphy, and I like, love the little like doodles of the speckles and stuff. Cute, very on brand for me something a little bit different for you. I did the springtime hummingbird flower also theme. You don't normally use really bright colors in your journal, so I said why not switch it up. There's also some black paper in here. I know you said you wanted that. Hope you enjoy Sincerely Anthony. Aw, that's so nice. Whoa, he gave me a lot of black paper. What the heck? Yo, and if I'm right, this is from like the Archer and Olive like Neapolitan journal that he did a review on. So that's awesome. That's a lot. Cute paper. Um, I have an idea already. Yo, I feel bad. This is kind of a lot. And some green, because we love some green. It's interesting how he gave me like springtime things when it's like fall. Yo, what the heck? He got me this whole booklet. I'm guessing that's where like these sheets came from and he just had leftovers. So here are some of the colors we have. We have a good a green that I really love and it's a Crayola, no, not a Crayola Super Tip. It's in a language I don't under, no, it's a Crayola Super Tip, cool. Um, so it's like watermelon -y. that's what I'm thinking of first off. I don't know if I want to do watermelon theme or not. Oh, there's more markers. Oh wow, this is kind of a lot. Wow, like <laughs> a whole bunch more. Wow. So here are all that we have so far. So up close, here's everything. There's the Archer and Olive um, black paper, I think. There's the pack of more of these sheets. There's just this random green piece of paper. And there are um, some curly soup chips. So I will get to thinking about what I can do with this. Hello, welcome back to another bullet journal plan with me. And this month we're planning for September. So as you can see from the previous clips, I had to use the supplies that were given to me by Anthony to incorporate into this month's theme. And honestly, at first I was really nervous about it because I didn't have any idea what I was going to do with the floral paper since that's not really my aesthetic at all. But you know, I decided to use them as the background for most of this theme and if you can't tell by the sketches, this month's theme has to do with like tarot cards and things like that. If you look to my left, you'll see a sage smudge stick and I bought this as ethically as I could and I decided I wanted to sage my new place and I basically messed up and uh, I created some very bad juju or very bad vibes as you call it around me so I thought that pulling some tarot cards for fun and like creating a new energy would help with the bad vibes that are present and I don't take tarot too seriously I just do it really for fun um, and as you can see in some of the clips, I'll be using parchment paper to be tracing out um, what I drew because I was not smart and I didn't think to cut up the paper first and then like draw around that instead I decided to draw things and then like paste things on top and honestly that just made a lot more hassle for me and that is why this ended up taking like three hours long to do but it was really fun. So if you know me, then you know that I'm a Virgo and September is my birth month. And instead of writing September on the cover page, I decided to write the maiden because the Virgo is the maiden. And I thought that was like a cool way of saying like September. Although I kind of like the simplicity of this page, I thought it was missing something. And also I wanted to utilize more of Anthony's supplies. And so I took some Crayola super tips that he sent me and drew in little details around the edges of the card. On the right hand side, I am doing a monthly reading and this month I decided to pull some tarot cards and this was what happened. I used like this online horoscope website to do that. I pulled one for love, one for career, and one for wellness. And then I wrote the description of what I pulled 
in each section just so I could remember it and keep it for myself. And it's just a fun way to get new like inspiration for the month. This is kind of a replacement for my word of the month, my quote of the month, and my goal of the month page that I did in my past two plan with me. Now I'm setting up my monthly log and my habit tracker. So on the left side, I decided to stick with doing a smaller calendar and then doing little broken up sections underneath. It's just sort of similar, I guess, to a feature log setup. It's the same system I used last month for August, and I just found out that it was like a pretty good way to not use a full two-page spread to do my monthly log. Remember, if you missed last month's video, I basically do a small calendar and then I'll do a colored dot for whatever I have. So if I'm uploading a video, I'll do a red dot on whatever day I want to upload. And then in the corresponding box underneath, I'll write what the day is and I'll write in the red marker that I use, um, upload blah blah video. And in one box, I'm putting in school related things like assignments and then in the other box I'm putting it in personal but if there's any overlap or if there's not enough room I'll just migrate over to the other box. On the right hand side I'm setting up my habit tracker for this month. I made each of the boxes inside a little like tarot card. I'm doing just the outline of the month calendar in order to track my habits instead of writing out all the numbers. And I decided to go with waking up by 7 a.m., doing yoga, doing 30 minutes of reading, and going to sleep by 11 p.m. But this month I really wanted to focus on habits that would like help with like mental health things and just taking care of myself mentally. Because, not gonna lie, your girl has been kind of struggling for the past like three to four weeks. My therapist said that I should get a therapist. So if that's any indication, there you go. Like I said earlier, this was a very intricate way to get my idea on paper and by that I mean like tracing out everything and like cutting pieces of paper out from the tracings and then gluing it in and cutting this out and gluing things in. It was like a lot of work um, but I think the end result looks really cute and I really like the way I incorporated the very um, patterned paper into my theme. Last but not least, I'm setting up my weekly spread for the first week of September. And can you believe we're already in September? We only have a few more months until 2021, and I am honestly so ready. So I divided each side up into four boxes. And honestly, at this point, I was getting kind of delirious, and my brain forgot that there were not eight days. So when I realized that I had an extra one, I kind of flipped out a little bit. Um, but then I realized, oh, I could just use it for like a little mini note section or something. And I'm continuing with the serif font, with the black paper, with a tarot card outlines to write in all of my days of the week. 
And the quote I chose for this page was the energy you put out is the energy you get back. And this is a quote I've been repeatedly drawn to. Like I just keep coming back to it. So off camera, I finished up like the rest of the details on the cards and you'll see that in my flip through. And I hope you enjoyed this like kind of creative and slightly different and out of my comfort zone bullet journal setup. If you and your friends decide to do a bullet journal swap, please film it and like show me and Zoe and Anthony what you end up doing with your supplies. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and remember that we all need to give ourselves and each other a little more love.